What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chaos237 bringing you guys another video. The team leader sets just dropped. Now EA's been delaying this and delaying this and delaying this. It was supposed to be out at launch, but they've been pushing it back, pushing it back, trying to get it right. And they're finally here, man. So here we go. Here's the sets first. AFC and NFC, each, each team gets one. They're broken down separately, and I'll show you why in a second. You go to the leader sets, you get to two things to put in. Just gold token and silver token. The gold tokens, you go to the token sets and you just do 10 golds, 575 to 79s, and 570 to 74s, you get a gold token. And then you do the 10 silvers to get the silver token. Now when you do this, you get a choice of one of those five leaders to the left. So Dunlap, Bernard, Dalton, Ray, Bowling. You get an 80 overall version when you complete this set. Now, that's not all you have to do. So you get the 80 overall. You pick whoever, whichever one you want. Alright? And then you take that card that you get and that unlocks... The solo challenges. So I'm going to bring you guys over to the solo challenges. These are going to be a nightmare. I'm just going to say that right now, guys. So you go to the AFC team leaders. Now you have to do the introduction, but once you do that, the Bengals will be unlocked. So you do that, you unlock the Bengals, and you got to go through. So first you have tier one, and you need that 80 overall. Then you have tier two, tier three, all the way up to the final tier four. Now, once you finish that, you can get the you can get the team leader so it's a complete nightmare and the final team leader is an 86 overall so in order to do all that you have to do the set to unlock the solos and then you have to do full 16 solos which is probably going to be full games guys so it's not going to be fun you see 305 of each so it's 610 solos if you plan on doing all of them so let's let's head back uh and take another look at the at the sets really quickly so you can go through and just take a look at all the stuff that we have. Bengals. You can see all the players. You can see how many. Like you can see how many you're gonna have to do. If you plan on doing all of them, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the most fun. But there's more. There's more stuff to it. So now we have the AFC Master and the NFC Master. First, you have Khalil Mack, which is obviously the AFC. 93 overall, guys. So. You have to, in order to do this, you have to do all 16 AFCs. And then obviously the NFC, same thing. You have to do all 16 NFCs. So it's not, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work, guys. It's, it's not just going to be to the sets, knock them out as usual. So, I mean, it's different from years past, but it's definitely got some decent rewards. It's just going to be a lot of work. Now, if you don't want to do the sets, if you, want to, if you don't want to do the 10 goals and 10 silvers, here's the Team Leader Fantasy Packs. This will get you the 80 overalls that are done from the sets. If you don't feel like doing them, this will give it to you. And then this will unlock the solos for you. So if you don't want to do the sets, here's what you can do right here. You can spend $6 and get this. So it's up to you guys. I'm probably just going to do the sets because I don't really want to spend $6 for an 80 overall non auctionable player. That's just for you guys. So let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, I'm... I'm not really a fan of how much work you have to do just for some 86 overall guys when there's when there's better cards out there. I mean, 600 solos is a lot, but the 93s are going to be pretty nice. And uh, I'll put the link in the description to the 93s and the and the team leaders. So I'll put both uh, of those on there. But let's just take one last look at all the sets. I mean, I th yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of it, but. At the end of the day, it's new content. I'm going to show you guys what it is, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment, uh, comment section. Comment, like, subscribe, and that's it, man. So take it easy. Peace. Sorry about that, guys. I know I said the video was over, but I wanted to give you guys a breakdown of the stats of each 93 overall master. I did put the link in the description just in case you guys want to check them out yourself. Let's just take a look at this Mac. First, uh, he's a 93 overall with 46 cap. And he's 85 speed, 92 block shed, 93 finesse, and 89 power move. Um, so I mean, he's pretty—he's got pretty good stats. 93 tackle. Um, so I mean, he's not bad. What's his strength? 82 strength. He could be stronger, but I mean, still a pretty good card. I don't know if it's worth doing 16 of the of the sequences unless you're planning on getting doing eight of them for Sean Taylor, anyways. So. Let's take a look at Odell. Odell's 59 cap, 93 overall. He's probably it's, he's the best receiver in the game, no doubt. I mean, he's got 92 speed, 72 run block, which is pretty good for a receiver, guys. Like, pretty darn good for a receiver. 
93 catch, 92 routes, so he's going to get the good routes, 94 spec. I mean, the dude's a beast. 88 catching traffic, 88 release. He's easily, easily the best receiver in the game. And after the catch, which you guys know this year, the jukes are really good. 90 jukes, 90 spin, 92 elusiveness. The guy's going to be a beast. So if you guys are planning on doing the Sean Taylor and you're going to have to do eight anyways, you might as well do the eight more and try to get Odell or Khalil Mack. But I will go with this Odell. So, all right, guys. This time it's really the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the team leaders and these overall masters. And take it easy. Peace.